Good afternoon, you lovely crafters. How are you? Um, well, it's a very exciting day today. I've jumped from QVC Extra, jumped onto Crafters TV, uh, and what do you know? We've got a new launch. It's launch day, and it's a very, very special launch because there's some amazing things here. If you've not seen it, stay tuned because you'll uh, love what we've got coming up for you. Uh, now, it's a very exciting day, not only for a launch party, but it's also beautiful beginnings. Uh, you know our Wednesday shows where we like to just ease you in gently uh, to that midweek and we've got some fantastic things coming up as well uh, now head over to the website for all those great deals because we've got some amazing offers going on over there uh, you know you can get fully sociable with us as well uh, our Susie's on social she'll be sending in all of your uh, messages uh, any of your questions so make sure you get them all over uh, you can see at the bottom there uh, get social with crafters tv uh, now it is wednesday it is launched day and Wednesday normally means we get to spend it with a very special lady in fact not just a special lady she's a very talented lady um, and if I had just a piece of her talent in my little finger I would be very happy um, Sheena welcome um, busy show this morning yes it was it was it was a fun show it was brilliant and um, I'm up for more yeah brilliant fantastic we're going uh, to have um, plenty of colouring plenty of playing and uh, yeah and a bit of a laugh I reckon I think so absolutely yes it's going to be a fun couple of hours um, people are joining us already um, Lois is in Melanie's in so uh, yes nice to say hello to you all and remember if you've got anything that you've um, made maybe with some of Sheena's makes uh, that in the previous uh, few weeks or even in the previous years uh, send in your pictures we'd love to see them so uh, send them in uh, to studio at crafterscompanion.co.uk uh, and we get them shown because it'd be lovely uh, for Sheena to see uh, some of the makes that you've done with her collections. Uh, now, talking about collections, it's not something Sheena always does. We do stamp sets, we dif do different pieces, but actually having a collection like this, um, I'm going to let Sheena explain it herself, but let me uh, show you what you're getting. Uh, as always, Crafters TV offers you a showstopper. And wow, what a showstopper this is. It's been the most popular. Uh, we've got our Snowflake Stories showstopper. It's a 10-piece collection and it's got so so much in it including those tricolor markers it's got stamps it's got dies it's got just some of the most amazing ink pads in there uh, so yeah if you want to go for that one 85 pound today or a hundred dollars um platinum price is 68 pounds or 80 dollars so a great one if you're in the platinum price uh, on our club inspire um sheena this collection uh what what's inspired you with this collection uh, well you know christmas every year it's like what are we going to do differently i've done a few christmas collections in time and and so you're trying to think of a, a different um something different and new mm -hmm. to the mix and i think this is because i thought i'd um kind of tell the story of a little snowflake where would it where would it appear in different people's lives how is it's touching different people yep. mm -hmm. animals in the field rooftops in the city kids looking out looking forward for christmas so it's a snowflake story so it's, um, shall I take you through the boards and show oh, you what absolutely. you get and explain it? For me, seeing that snowflake, you're right in that telling that story because for me, the, having that large snowflake is almost looking through a window. Exactly, like a and portal, isn't it? Absolutely, yeah. yeah. Look, at, I mean, these boards are beautiful. Yeah. So I, I wanted it to be like, um, you know, like the double exposure kind of things, uh, Debbie. You know, like that double yes. exposure photography yep. where you've got a pa picture and then a picture within a picture. Yep. That's exactly what it is. So this first board is like, showing you your dies. This is what they're like when they cut out your die cuts here and these are your die so the shape of the snowflake is the thing that carries the cord carries everything through they're your dies and the little twiddly bits so all these little extra bits they look the uh, amazing when you get them um, into embellishing and wrapping around the snowflake so that's the first part is the die the next part is the embossing folder and the embossing folder is multi-purpose so it's going to create a background so like this one full patterned background but it's also going to emboss just that cut out snowflake so that you can just have the, that element cut out and embossed as well so that's the folder and if you're thinking what can I do with even just the folder check out this card here look at that that's just with the embossing folder if so if you like your grungy background if you want to use some bit inking and get a bit of bling in there a completely different look so even though what i'm going to do today is show you the full concept with everything put together i'm also going to show you some cards where the separate elements have been used as well so it's such a vast kit with huge 
um, uh, kind of uh, creativity that's kind of I think there's a ship just come into dock well I think Did they you must see your like, stamps and they love them yeah, they're, they're coming in by the shipload so, um, so what you then get Debbie is you get the um, the stamps that fit inside that that's, that's amazing thing. yeah and each one as you say is like a window a portal into the view so this view is over that lovely little snowy village like Scandinavian village but with a star there so if you've got a bit of, you know it's just as a religious kind of like um you know a little nod to that yep. as well uh, uh, yeah the North whoever star. the force or winter um uh, anything uh, yeah, they're really appropriate for lots and lots of wintry occasions so but you've also get this little one here this little picture here which is fabulous in its own right so you can make independent cards let me show you like that oh, using just nice. that small element so don't think you you know you might want to use the whole thing but we had questions earlier about smaller format cards mm -hmm. you know or tags or rectangle yes. cards you know for postage if you want to use it for smaller do you know quicker I, postage do you know what i love about that sheena is because um so i know some people might be a little bit overwhelmed by yep. that stamp in there which yep. is beautiful but that gives them a basic start exactly and then they can move on to it straight away exactly i love the way you exactly. think exactly it's going to grow with you the collection it's yes gonna, absolutely and, and even when you see how it all comes together i'm going to do a basic card to the formula to show you how you would use them all together so you can see how one thing comes into play with the next thing it all kind of the connect so then you've got the robin and look at how gorgeous that is that is such a i love that and again there's that one element look at that how cool oh, wow. is that if you want to just use that small element there for your just a so robin card clever. so you've got so much guys with this to play with but um the main the big wow factor is in that snowflake shape yep. there and this is me debbie uh, actually it's still me debbie yeah <laughs> it's still me in my head this is still me that's probably the age i haven't moved beyond that to be honest we all know it might as well fess up it's true but as soon as i see a bit of snow oh i, I am know. just i am that kid again I love it. I love me it. too. I'm like it with all weathers though, Sheila. Yeah. If it rain, I love watching the rain. I love, you yes. know what? I lived in California for three and a half years yep. and I loved it and it's gorgeous and I had a fabulous time with friends and family there, amazing. I still get back to go back on holiday, but yep. what I missed was the seasons. Yes. We would drive up to Mammoth, like to the mountains and you'd kind of go through the seasons then, but I did, I missed the rain sometimes, but you did get rain. And when it does rain in Southern California, it really does rains. Rain. It rains. <laughs> it does rain. So um, yeah, but I love the seasons. But the snow is just something magical about it. Isn't Very it? magical, and Sitting I think you've really that. captured that in that yeah. stamp set. Looking for Santa, looking in the sky, yes. watching to see can you see him yet? Yeah, you'd be too, too excited. They ain't going to sleep tonight, are they? They're not going to sleep no tonight. Way. No way. No presents from Santa for you. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> They're in trouble if it's snowing in November, mind. You're going to have a few sleepless nights before Santa gets there, aren't you? <laughs> This is nice. I like this one. Scene. Oh, you know what? I love this one. I really do because um, what I really enjoyed doing was the perspective on the snowflakes. Yes. Because you know when you see if the snowflake, you can do like dots, and you tend to when you first start crafting, they're like regular spaced. Pac-Man style, not yep. Pac-Man, Space Invader style yes. dots, aren't they? <laughs> and all the right sides because you want them to look for it. And then you realise when you look closer, when snowflakes fall, they look huge if they're right in front of your face and tiny little just mist in the yeah, distance. Yeah, absolutely. So that's this one here, this this guy here and there is actually on its side. So you turn it round, as you can see, the way it's falling in the scene here. But that's for your background. And then I just love this this here. You could use that any time of the year. As a oh, absolutely. Skyline, couldn't you? So nice. Yeah. So that's what you're getting. Oh, but not all. Oh, you hear that there? Oh, you're also, I've got everything here. That, I, I can't believe this bundle, Debbie. I know, it's good, this, isn't it? Here, gorgeous ink pad. I'm going to stamp with that. We're going to make a card just with that ink pad to start with. Damson, lovely. Mm. And then you're also getting, so that's the water reactive, so we're going to blend with that. You're getting the um, Oasis in the um the uh opaque pigment so that's going to give you a solid line and then these are my boxes here but i'm going to show you them you're getting both of those so you're getting like 18 colors 
And that's my little colour swatch there. Debbie's got a posher one, but this is what I did earlier. <laughs> this was me playing. Yeah, she's got the posh one. Yeah, this so is, the, this yeah. is the working sample. Yeah, yeah. I've got one for the pros, if you want, Gina. Yeah, if you want to tidy, <laughs> you're, on, you're on the wrong side of the room if you want tidy, just saying. Uh, I love your counter so pretty and clean and organised and mine's like, yeah. We are polar opposites on that, aren't oh, we, Gina? Yeah. yeah. I'm like that really tidy crafter, tidies everything up, wipes everything down. Uh, no, Sheena not is me, like, not let's so just much. get messy. Yeah, not so much. <laughs> uh, yeah, great showstopper that is. Uh, lots of you coming in this afternoon saying hello to myself and Sheena. Uh, we've got uh, Pauline saying good afternoon from Cheshire. Uh, BJ Clark is in from Washington. Uh, Wendy's in from Hampshire. Uh, Sharon uh, Pimento is saying hello from North Carolina. Uh, Carolyn's in from Florida. Um, our Flaming Galar's in from Australia. Sarah Blount. Uh, they're saying good day, mate, in my ear. Uh, Nanny to the girls on YouTube is saying good morning, loving a Sheena day, great talent and teaching techniques, absolutely. Uh, Maria's in, Maria Cooper's in, and she's saying hi, Debbie Sheena and the team and the beautiful people from all around the world. Uh, hello, Maria. And uh, Linda's in from Maryland. Jeffrey's in saying it's a happy day, Debbie and Sheena and the great and super CTV crew. Uh, we will take that, our super TV crew is losing a member tomorrow. Oh, George, it's mine and George's last show today. Sheena, it's yours and George's last show oh, today as well. George. Although you've got two shows today. This, I'm only, you've only got me for this show. Uh, Ben's coming in later on. So, yeah, my last one with George, which I'm very, very sad about. Uh, but we thought the last one was, and we've hugged it out and said goodbyes, and then we're like, oh, we've still, <laughs> still got another show. <laughs> um, right, let me just show you the colours of those tri-colour pens um, in my my posher boards. Oh, yeah, um, lovely. Uh, I, I love that <laughs> Sheena does her swatches, which is brilliant. And actually, um, Sheena, and I think you'll agree, everyone should do a swatch themselves. Definitely. Just to Absolutely. get that colour. It just on a bit of scrap card, yep. just as I've done, just there. That you need that, guys. Yeah. Always do yourself a colour swatch. Yeah, absolutely. They're, they're so much better. The colours when you see them yep. um, in in true like the inks better than the plastic. Yes, totally. And it's that true colour that you get. So you can see those three pens there give you that three pen blend. That's our floral meadow, uh, and then you're also getting this one, which is your great outdoors. I love the colours in that one. They're just su just supreme colours. Uh, beautiful. You are getting those in your show stopper alongside those ink pads and all of Sheena's designs. Uh, right, shall we get on with the demo? Shall we I play? Think so, yes, let's have a play. Right. So what I'm going to do, I'm stripping it down to the quickest, the most um, cost effective and easy, just to take you through the process, the kind of the, the mechanics of it, yeah? So we started off with a piece of, and this is this is important, the right card. Before you do anything, make sure you've got the right card, because nothing's going to go right from now on, guys, if you don't get the right card. <laughs> ba 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 Drama. <laughs> you um, have been warned. Uh, yeah, and uh, the card that my go-to is the premium watercolour pad. Yes. Yeah, love it every time. And if you want to draw the line, which you can do with these pens as well, draw the line, just saying. Yes. Um, that's the card to get premium watercolour We had card. it on offer last week. I don't know if it's still on offer. Go and have a look because I was telling everyone, if you want to do draw the line technique, like I knew all about it, uh, I'm the pro on that. No, but I've not even tried it yet, Sheena, and I can't wait because oh. I need to do it. But that watercolour card pad, go and have a look online because you will find it on there. Oh, it's, it's, it's massive fun. You've been loving it. The things you've been sharing have been incredible. So what I've done, you know what? I used the um, repositionable stamping platform and I might again. But I thought, you know, people are going to want to know, can I, can I really fit on a rocker block for a start? Yep. Yes, it will. It'll just go if you put it on that way okay. on your extra large rocker block, just which fits. is good to know, Debbie. Good to know, and yes, absolutely. also, can you stamp it with a rocker block? And, well, I'm hoping, yes. <laughs> We're going to give it a try. <laughs> <laughs> I love that, Sheila. You just try anything. If it works, it works. Yeah, if it doesn't, we'll normal. start again. <laughs> it's like, it's either, like, brave or stupid. Sandra's <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, asking if you had a little brother. If you have a little brother, Sheena. Sorry? Uh, Sandra's asking if you have a little brother. No. Ah. I've got a big brother. So who, the youngest. So I'm... who was your inspiration? Even though that was you sat in that window, who is the yeah. inspiration? It was just any little couple of kids, to be honest. Just a couple of kids to represent uh, Ooh, many other little kids. It could be a little that. boy or it could be a little girl. Absolutely. Absolutely. That's... So, um, yes, 
the Look answer at is the detail in that stamp. For you. And that's with a rocker wow. block one pass. Hello. Amazing. Look at it. Look at all that there. You've that's got... incredible. Now here's the thing. I need to stress this. You shouldn't have to work to make a stamp look good. Yes. It should really if you wanted to just, just cut that out and layer that up and put a bit of bling on it you know yep. what you could do that with it with that couldn't you that's think that's just incredible detail yeah there's very little we need to do to this debbie but let's have a bit play so we'll just color in with this ink pad here um and as i should mention all the the dark areas are already cross hatched there so you can see where it's dark so first thing to do is take a, just some water and let's start blending these dark areas here where you can see I've got now hatching is where you've got a series of lines one next to each other yeah. which makes it darker but to make it really dark you do cross hatching which is basically those lines in diagonals crossing each other okay. lots of them and it makes a very dark area so if it's really no light getting in there so when you looked at that stamp the reason it looked good already is because it's not just what I call like a cookie cutter outline stamp yeah it's got shading and a heads up for you if you want to give it that little bit of extra realism there it looks like um 3d before you do anything to it but what you've got to know is when you come to color um especially if it's just water you just wet those bits first but if it's coloring you put your dark color where those dark areas are you put your dark color over those areas and that's going to make it look really 3d for you and now the snow, all you're going to do is just soften a little bit of those lines on the snow because we don't want the snow to be um, purple. Yeah. We just we still want it to look white, but we just want it to look like there's a little bit of a, um, a, a shadow in it. White's really hard to paint. To paint a white colour, you need to have some um, kind of shadow colour in there. So you could use a blue or purple. This works with any of your dark ink pads, but as you get this one in that showstopper, it just made sense to um, to use it because it's such a lovely colour. It's, it's, it's dark enough um, to work brilliantly with this technique. And you do you know see. what I'm As you was doing that, I was thinking I would never dream to stamp with something like a dark purple stamp. So oh. I think you showing these techniques and showing how cool that is. I mean, it really works, doesn't it? It works brilliantly, doesn't it? And it's got loads of impact, loads of drama. You can really see the colour in it, you can see now all those darker areas, the light areas, but we're going to darken the sky and we'll put some light back into it. So for this one, we'll just splodge a little bit of colour out there and we'll paint in. So what we're going to do is we're going to paint it darker at the top, so less water and more ink at the top. So just painting around those little filigree bits I've drawn into your snowflake. I mean, look and how far that goes down just from and a then, tiny yeah, piece exactly, of Yeah, exactly. That's just one one brush load Debbie and I'm still going and this star if you happen to catch it don't worry because we can put that back in with a white gel pen and I'm going to do the same starting up here so dark still up here because you want it to look kind of like linear so it's like it's dark across like that then lighter like that does that make sense well yeah and it's so nice to see you using a dark ink like a darker ink because I would never think to use a dark ink in the sky like that yeah really because I'm thinking night time I love the snow at night time it's got like a such a gorgeous glow, hasn't it? Yes. It looks yeah, it's just uh, the ground's just lit up. So pretty. Laurie is saying, OMGs, did you see Sheena stamp that in one go? Rock a block magic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's um, you know what? It's like I'm um, seriously, I forgot how much I loved rocker blocks. Yes. And that's that's it. Uh, you could I wouldn't do that with a regular stamping um, you know, uh, acrylic block. Yeah because you just don't get the, you, you can't get that um, pressure that you need to get the line um, in one. So if you haven't got rocker blocks or if you, you want to use whatever you use, your stamping, whatever stamping system you use, but um, yeah, be, it's just because of the rocker blocks that I could do that um, without using a platform, to be honest. And look how that star is shining so bright, yeah. even not coloured with that dark sky. That's yeah, beautiful. That's it. It's just so getting that contrast going with the white snow, the dark sky, a little bit lighter towards the horizon line, dark up here. 
So someone's asking if it's plum jam or damson wine. It's the damson wine, isn't it? Yes, it's the damson wine. It's the one that's what's coming with it. It comes so with the that. We've done very little. There's a little bit of sky to do along or snow just there. We'll just put a little bit in there just so that we know that that's continuing there. That looks amazing, just and, like that. And that, just like that. We've Yeah, seriously, look at that. And, and yeah. We don't need to do much more than that. In fact, I'm not going to, I'm not going to overdo this one because I want you to see how you can keep it um, simple, straightforward. Use the ink pad we've yep. put in the bundle for you, and um, and make something that looks amazing at the end of the day. So just let me dry that up there. I'm going to dry this quickly. Then we're going to cut it out, Debbie. Am I going to pop a little bit of um, white highlight on it? I was actually just thinking how cool, because of the um, outline around the image, you could cut this out and use it as a mask so that you could do background techniques. And then I thought, that's silly. You've got an actual die that cuts it out. I was You've forgetting. Got it all. Yeah, it's all there. <laughs> so we'll um, just dry that both sides. You'll want this nice and dry. The thing is, when you, you know when you come to use your gel pen and you go, oh, my gel pen's peeling off, it's not working. Often, it's not the pen's fault, it's us. You're trying to use it on a slightly damp background. Yeah. Because you're just getting paid, well, I'm getting patient. Of course, yeah. Yeah. And so I'm just drying that thoroughly so that now, just the next thing is to have a look. See if you need to put a little bit of white there. See if you've lost a little bit of white. If you need to just bring that little bit more back into your star, if you've lost a little bit of the pointy bit, um, you can pop that back in. Uh, oh, that's bit. a clever idea. See, I wouldn't have thought to do that either. Yeah, just bring that little bit just back in and then you've got it back to its lovely glow. It's the, it's the star of the show, literally, isn't it? That star. Yeah. It really does look lit. And again, on the um, if you've lost any, you know, to be honest, I don't think I need to put anything else on there because we've pretty oh, much, um, the white card has, mm -hmm. has we preserved the white of the card. So you're not going to get any whiter than the white in the card. Absolutely. You can put a bit of bling on, but we'll do that in a minute. So the next thing is the dye, Debbie. All right, so the dies are, I say more dies, but this is the one we look at to start with. So this guy here, I need to mention, has, because these are hand-drawn, all those little points are slightly different. Oh, so okay. on the die, Debbie, there's a little bobbly bit on one of the little pointy bits, yeah. the big pointy bits. Can you see that bobbly bit there? Oh, yes. Yeah, that one. That one is to tell you that it always that always stands up. Oh, at 12 you are a clever old soul, no. aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> well, I have a team to help me out, as I've got to say. Um, so yes, so that there will um, will pop that around there. So all you're going to do is just match it around the the snowflake. I usually find if I get the top bit sorted, then you just shuffle the other bit around a bit. Um, what I do as well, what I did is I had a stamping session, so stamped all my pictures out and used a, um, like a, a flagstone. I like flagstone. And then I, um, I had a cutting session. So, you know, so then you can just get, what it's yep. like, you get a production line going, yes. don't you? So we'll pop that on there, we'll cut this guy out, and then we will proceed with the rest of the... Cold. That is absolutely a brilliant idea, though, putting that little bobble on the top. Yes. Yeah. It? Just simple. Absolutely. I, said, I have to say, that was Leanne's team. That was me. Oh, they OK. Because I'm I've trying... I've the pretty pictures, and there uh, you go. Because <laughs> <laughs> I remember something before that came out, and it took me ages. I've got a feeling there was something like mandalas, uh -huh. and they were the same, and we had to keep turning them around, and then someone said, why don't you just put a dot of, like, a, um, a a, the alcohol pen, a permanent pen on yeah. there, and then you would know where it went every single time. So that, for me, yeah. uh, is a game changer. Yeah. You've not got to worry anymore about yeah. lining it up. When you've had experience of something like that, that's when you like really mean something yes, to you, doesn't absolutely. it? Yes, yeah. absolutely. I know. Who gets excited about a little dot? <laughs> I, don't, I, mean, yeah, I had these amazing cards from the team and everything, but Debbie was impressed with the dot. <laughs> it, was like, it was like, what do you remember of that whole day, Debbie? The dot. <laughs> <laughs> wow. See, that's amazing that to me. That's, that's amazing. <laughs> Let me show you this before I move on, because I'm, 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 I'm just conscious there's so much to show you. It's and good I'm job not you know me well. <laughs> and I have to say, this, Debbie, you've got your eye on this card, and you love this card. I love it morning. so much. I like, well, like a little magpie with a bling. You went, oh, yes. that is magical. I just I love, love that. it. Yeah. And just to mention, even the waist, you can make your cards with, the waist so, so good. a different aperture so yeah just so just wanted to mention that while we were there Beautiful. so now we've got a cut out card now so the next thing you can do debbie we'll come on to the embossing folder 
It's not just me, Cindy's saying it was genius to put the bobble on the top. There you go, <laughs> see, not long. Yay. I see, it's me and Cindy, it's those, it's our minds. We just like those, that simplistic thing uh, yeah. that makes a, a huge difference. Things that I can, like, you know, slip it in there. It's like, what, what's your achievements? Glycerin. Um, draw a line with yes, a pen yeah. and a dot. And a dot, the That's top it. of your die. That's Brilliant. It. You've, you've, you've just made it. You've peaked now, Sheena. That's it. That's <laughs> it. The dot, I think the dot is it. It's pe I've peaked. I? Yeah, You're I not going to emboss this. I am. Oh. Oh. And you'd think that you wouldn't even see it. you think, well, surely with all that pattern, you're not going to see it. Oh, I but didn't know you could can. do this. Really this is, see. yeah. So it's just that extra little, you oh. know when you get like posh cards or posh envelopes, va, va, that posh envelopes that are just embossed. <laughs> <laughs> Look amazing. <laughs> Love that. Oh, that was a real shocker. I didn't know you could emboss it. It's the yeah. same size as the embossing folder. Amazing. Come on. Come on. Why is it? Is it switched on? Oh. <laughs> That's why I'm here, Tina. I knew that. <laughs> it's just because you were a bit overwhelmed with how important the dot was. It was the you? dot. <laughs> I was thrown by the dot. <laughs> mm. Like, oh, oh, hello, what? Yeah, that's what happens when you put your mat on the top of yes, your machine, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, no, switches know. it off. And then what you get is you get, oh, you know, I've done, I've debossed it. Oh. Well, a deboss isn't but that's okay. Well, you can still see it. Um, no, what I mean was, yeah. So this one I've debossed for you, so you can see how it looks when it's debossed. <laughs> Love that. Looks very so nice. So if you want to see what it looks like when it's embossed, <laughs> look. Wow. And that's oh, what you look get. There's a the full embellishment there. You see, so. That, that is one very demonstration cool. gave you two completely different looks. Yes, See I how love good that. that was? I know. I love that you do that. Yeah. Actually, it does look really cool when it is embossed. It, it looks it looks okay debossed, but it does look better embossed. So it embosses that star in as it, well? It embosses the whole that there over the whole oh, this wow. pattern over the whole thing. That's and it amazing. looks super cool. I don't think I've got another one. We'll do another one later. You'll see. You'll see what that looks like. But the next thing we're going to do is let's do a little background. Since we've got the folder out, let's pop that whole thing in there and we'll create the background for this card. And we'll pop that in like that. So another full embossing, making sure the machine's switched on this time. So that star is identical to the star ah, die. Exactly. It's very clever. Exactly. <laughs> So we've got uh, Rosalind Zinn saying, um, I can see heat embossing the rooftops with white sparkle oh, glitter. That would look lovely. That, that would, would absolutely lovely. look lovely. Yeah. Uh, Sandra's saying that Sheena will love that I've spent my lunch break sorting all my ink pads into my Stephanie buddy bag. Yay! Like all's organisation. Uh, Christine Mahone is in saying, hello, I love these stamps so much. Um, and Susie saying, I love the Skyline stamp. I can see many uses for it for all year round. I love the Skyline. Yeah, well. I absolutely. love them all, but that, just that Skyline. You know, it's, it's what you, what gives you that warm Christmassy glow, isn't it? That warm festive kind of glow. That, what's, what's important to you and to me I just love that image and again the kids looking out of that um, uh, in the in the distance I think yes. just like that. Yeah. so I'm gonna I'm matching this up I don't think we often put cards together do I but I am because this is just to show you how you can pop your cards together get a production line going yeah and you've got your cards popped together absolutely just like this i mean that's so subtle but and what a pretty is background sit on there but you see that ah. i don't think you want much more than that no. what you can do though let's do this one thing this one more thing and just to show you the option we'll i'm going to use the same cutting plate and turn it around pop that there um get my die out we're going to emboss a, a blinktastic star just so that you can see what it looks like clearer because with the silver mirror and not forgetting the extra embellishment so we're going to pop these around there as well this is these are the kind of things that wherever you if you're cutting anything out there's anything have these at hand and fill your fill the little spaces up with these things i love you these. know so you don't have to put them through again just to cut them you may as well just pop them in while you're doing something else yeah Absolutely, and I think if you are someone that loves your die cut and you just want to go for that set, just head to the website because you will be able to find that set on there. I want this set just for those swirls; the they are amazing. Yeah, they're really, um, they're really useful. Those little swirly yeah, things. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely, and again, all year round. Yeah, absolutely. That's it. Mm. And you know what? If you do them in a um, 
a white card and you just put glitter on them. They look like little swirly kind of um, uh, glitter gems. Yes. Because they've got the little dot things to them. Yeah. So nice. Really cool. Right, so we've got this guy here and these ready. Look at them. Aren't they just charming? They're so they're, fine. They're beautiful. And they're you so can just lovely. link them together and oh, create nice. full big chains with them and backgrounds with them and and cut as many as you as you can just just keep cutting these out because you will use them yeah um time and yeah, time they're again lovely. let me get this one off the mat here so gonna use those in a minute and put them back in the box cindy's saying good recovery sheena sorry <laughs> she said good recovery because it still looks beautiful debossed oh thank you <laughs> yeah yeah yeah, you know what? I have no inner monologue. I couldn't like fake it. You know, I couldn't like just be cool. It's like, oh, yeah, yeah. Although she does go on to say, "Thank you for doing it," because it'll remind me not to. Oh yeah, no, well, cheers for that. So that was like, yeah. Oh well, that was nice. Oh, no. Yeah. Enough said. <laughs> so this one, we're going to pop in there the right way up. <laughs> this one's going to be embossed. This is me redeeming myself now, you see. So I find it's easier to pop it in and then look at the uh, this, this printed bit with your other bit underneath. Can right, you see? Yes, I'm just yep. like have the, wiggling it around a little bit and getting it as centred as possible. I think that's pretty close. I think we can go with that. Yeah, it's a lovely idea of having that dye that and then embossing it. And then we'll pop this card together. And that's just using that one ink pad from the from the collection, from the bundle. Amazing. So behold. These even just, you know, to hang the little little um Oh, decorations, yes, window hangers, exactly. tree decorations. Yeah. Isn't that Oh, if you cut four of them and back them onto each other, you could have a like a spinny bauble, yeah. couldn't you? Snowflake. Yeah. Fold them that back is and sudden. Yeah. That actually yeah. looks like metal. Yes, it does look That's, like it, like yeah. a tooling metal kind of that thing. That is yeah. beautiful. So we'll pop that there. And now what you so if you get it like this, and if you look, this these little bits here, when you turn them round, if you look and to line it up, these little bits, try and line those bits oh, up that's pretty. in the middle. And the same distance from the side when you stick that together like that. Does that make that? Make that sense? is beautiful. So we'll stick that. I'm just going to. I've put more glue on this normally, but um, that'll do for just now. Um, let me see. Well, just had it positioned, and now we're not so much. Yeah, that's a really nice idea to offset it. It looks really pretty. Yes, and, and then you've got the. You get that little bit of bling popping through, don't you? I do love some. I do love silver um, mirror card. Yes, it's lovely, isn't it? Oh, mm. that that um, pa packs of glitter and Murray and satin card. That's just stunning. Oh, it's those. beautiful. It's so beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. And so what we'll do is we'll three D this, and I think I've got some bigger. Nope, not bigger. Yeah, that'll do. We've got dots here. I'm just going to put a few on just to um, get this three D. Oh no, they're not sticky. Bear with. I had dot problem this morning. Sticky dot. It was all went so well until I got to the little three D doodles. <laughs> what is it? I know we've only got little ones in the studios. Yeah. I don't know what it is. Uh, I, I think all the big to... ones are disappearing. Yeah, or a little bit of wet glue, like you know the three D glue would probably be quicker. Yes. So I'm just putting a few on, guys. Just it, it, you wouldn't you would put more on this more than this on if you were making a card to send. But for the show, I'm putting as few on as I need to make it stick so you can see what it looks like. And that'll do. One more in the middle. Oh, we, the show's going to go here with me trying to navigate these dots. Right. I've got to take the backs off them now. <laughs> Three hours later. Tumbleweed. Seriously, Debbie. Right. That's the trouble, isn't it? It's getting yeah. them off. Yeah. Okay, right, one more dot and then we're done. Remember, <laughs> note yourself, don't use any more 3D foam. <laughs> Ever. <laughs> oh. Try a pokey tool, that normally gets the tops yeah, off. Yeah, that's it, Wait, that'll do. Right, so that's going to go on there like this. That is beautiful. And bear in mind, that's just, you know, we've done it in real time. Start to finish, I've got my card here, I should have stuck that on there, we'll stick that on. 
and then um, again this would not be what I would normally do to stick that on there like that and then the little bling these little guys it's up to you where you want to put them and you could have them coming around like this you know if you wanted them just like coming around the side of the cord like that oh like yes it looks really cool doesn't it i love them swells they're so pretty yeah. uh, and i don't want to take anything away from you sheena but that's just simplicity that card yes and anybody can achieve that by stamping drawing out a bit of color yeah. painting with that ink pad that you're getting with the showstopper and it looks fabulous yeah and it's doable it's achievable yes. by anybody you can you, you can you've seen you've seen me do oh, i've just brought told me little thing so let me try and do this guy here and I just hold that little bit there so we'll just do a little bit of surgery with that one there right so even if you tear it you can just mop, put it back together yeah absolutely couple of little snowflakes I just think that is just so pretty it's so pretty isn't absolutely it absolutely beautiful it's um it's traditional but kind of quite modern with the color way just keeping yes, it quite clean absolutely, isn't it clean. yes as well um, oh, and even like the snowflake everything this there. collection is stunning <laughs> absolutely stunning all right and there's more little snowflakes somewhere but we'll just stick it for that one i can't find them but yeah just a, probably three would have been better but there you go guys first card just like that from beautiful. start to finish so beautiful little wow. bit of bling on there a bit of glitter a bit of glitter glue it's just i love it i just absolutely think these are beautiful so if you're looking for something different you want to be creative uh, like our sheena's doing with those beautiful stamps uh, go for that showstopper because everything in that showstopper is what sheena has used on that card uh, you're getting those two ink pads you're getting all the embossing folder and the dies uh, plus all those incredible stamps and plus the tri-color pens uh, now we were on about uh, the watercolor cardstock uh, it is in fact our hero tool of course it is uh, two pads uh, which is absolutely incredible uh, it's literally about £10.50 per pad which is at just exceptional value these are 9 by 12 300 gsm your premium watercolor cardstock you're getting 40 sheets in total that's amazing value platinum price 16 pounds 78 or 19 dollars 18. while we're on watercolor cardstock uh, sheena we did have a question which is, is a good to, to ask that now um it's actually asked in let me see if i can find it um you knew that would happen. I wouldn't be able to find it. Oh, it's from Lynn, uh, Lynn Bledsoe. And she is saying, do you need to do anything when you start to use a paintbrush for the first time? Anything to the paintbrush? To the um, paintbrush. Yeah, you know what? When they're brand new, I can't see any brand new ones. But the one thing, if you're using these royal and lightnical brushes, that one giveaway is that they'll be lily white. They'll be really white. It's when you use them, they're going to stain. So don't worry about that. But the other thing is, is um, they might have like a, some kind of coating on them. Size they have sometimes have like a. Uh, it's usually just like gum arabic to keep them in place. So just give them a swish in the water. Mm -hmm. That's it. Just give them a swish in the okay. water, and then um, let them dry. But whenever you're using a paintbrush, if I just pop this paintbrush in the water now like that quickly because sometimes people do and they're a little bit scared. It hasn't picked up much water. There's not much water usually in it. You have to like get them really wet properly. Yeah. It, it sounds silly, but prime your paintbrushes before you start using them. So don't just pick up a dry paintbrush and think that it, it is good to go. So I like to wet them first and then they're good to go. And I, and I hear that you shouldn't leave your paintbrushes in water. Is that <gasps> true or just a myth? What? No. Oh, you can leave them in water. No. Oh, no. Oh, the horror. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nightmarish scenes before my very eyes. No, because oh, so what happens is the, um, <laughs> that, was that was enough drama there. Uh, I, think yeah, I, got I am never going to leave my paintbrushes in water ever, ever again. Never, 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 ever, ever, ever. Let's not ever talk of it again. <laughs> because what happens is the little bits on the end go and they curl around. You get like ah. a curly little. Instead of it being straight, you get the, the curl, and you never get rid of that curl. Right. The other thing is when you're cleaning them in the water. 
don't be doing that boom 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 pouncing up and down right yep. like that mm -hmm. on the water because you end up with it like a, um, a chimney brush so what you do is when you're cleaning them you push down on the side of the brush if you want to get the water oh, out okay yes in the water it looks mm -hmm. like you're pushing pressure but if you do that then you're getting this all the stuff out of the ferrule here which is yep. this bit here um but you with watercolor it's doesn't usually it usually comes out really quick it, it, acrylics acrylics much tougher on brushes so yes never let it dry on your brushes and oh acrylic amazing paints. thank you for that it's like yeah. little 101 on that paint brush there which is great so i hope that helped linda um sarah's saying sheena it's such a beautiful card lois saying beautiful card sheena uh, nanny to the girls saying beautiful card patty four is saying can you use your metallic ink pads um i assume she means to stamp with yeah Mm. absolutely use anything you want to stamp with it's going to look cool with any whatever you want to use um as long as the the uh yeah you could heat set them and then color them in yeah mm. that absolutely. would work yeah um crafty angie is saying that is a stunner sheena linda saying beautiful card uh, kathy is saying uh, applause applause sheena please take a bow this is beautiful uh, we've got oh. lots more coming up so uh, stay tuned we're going to take a little break uh, but when you come back we're going to see even more wow dinner demos from our sheena have a look at this Welcome to Club Inspire, the crafter's companion community where you can feed your crafty obsession. Join our fantastic loyalty club today and receive 20% of your first order. We'll also give you 250 points to help get you started. Other benefits of joining Club Inspire include exclusive special offers and discounts for Club Inspire members only, exclusive sneak peek previews of brand new product launches, and of course, the Club Inspire community group on Facebook, where you can access exclusive content such as downloads, offers and inspiration. And of course, you can chat and share your makes with other members. You'll receive one point for every pound, dollar or euro you spend. And the more points you receive, the more benefits you'll unlock. So what are you waiting for? Sign up, join the club and start rewarding yourself today. Welcome to Crafters TV. With more than 35 hours of live shows each week, it's your home for all things craft. We shine the spotlight on new and innovative crafting products with live tutorials and demonstrations. Join our family of craft experts where fun happens every day. Are we in trouble or are we all right? <laughs> yeah. Should be, should be should coming be in. in, should be coming. <laughs> what does she do? Exactly what did she do? <laughs> This is awesome. This is awesome. Get creative and craft along. With our amazing deals, your next craft project is just a click away. Tune in live seven days a week, or you can watch us on Catch Up at crafterscompanion.com, Facebook, or our YouTube channels. You can chat to us, craft along, and meet new friends by joining our online crafting community. And I want you every day and it's just what really gets you through when you're really at rock bottom there's a show for every type of crafter from first-time dabblers to full-time makers crafters tv create every day what makes crafters tv so special is uh you guys it's really special because the the experts are really experts they're they're um, really skilled at what they do, and they want to make sure that the audience also improves on their skills. Crafters TV is so special because you've got together a really sort of key group of people um, and people that are very passionate about the product. Crafters TV is so special because it's a unique community that we have with each other where we can 
learn and grow and communicate with each other. Community, the family spirit, the education, everything to do with craft. We are all like-minded people who share a passion. I love all the inspiration the demonstrators bring and all the knowledge for us out here. What makes Crafters TV so special, 100%, is the interaction. No other crafting TV channel or show has the same interaction. I love the community, I love chatting live, uh, I think that's the best part and uh, it's gone beyond crafting because we've become friends. It feels to me to be a really, really close relationship with our customers and viewers. You guys make us feel like we're part of your family. I've never been on the show before, but one of my friends who I did meet from CCTV encouraged me and I was on the craft along. Massive team of people and I think they've all got their role to play uh, and it just brings everything together. It allows us to do our job and just love it. Ah, oh, the people obviously, the people not just here at Crafts Companion, uh, but the viewers that watch us, I mean everybody. We have this real magical essence about it. Bye for now. Bye. Oh, welcome back to Crafters TV. You're watching us on launch day. Uh, it's a fabulous launch and it's very busy. You are absolutely loving Sheena's stamps and I'm not surprised. There's something very different to these, I think, to what we've seen in the craft industry. Uh, I love that sort of portal of looking through that snowflake and having that amazing artwork in there. And Sheena's made it exceptionally easy for us to paint, to colour, to draw. Um, it's absolutely beautiful. Uh, and if you love your die cutting, there's some dyes in there as well if you love your embossing there's some embossing as well in fact the most amazing embossing folder which is very pretty and works in conjunction with that amazing die set as well now if you go for our showstopper today it's the best saving you're saving 17 pounds 90 or 30 dollars 66 uh, you're actually getting those two ink pads in there as well and you're getting those tri-color pens uh, which is amazing so if i just show you the colors of those you're getting six pens in total um, the three colors that you can see here uh, you're probably thinking that's more than three colors Debbie but each pen offers you three colors uh, which is why it's called our tri color pen uh, you've got our great outdoors there and you've also got the floral meadow so great ones there uh, to be coloring in these beautiful scenes uh, you can get the full showstopper collection today for 68 pounds or 80 dollars um, now we're going to show a let me just bring these in is it the ink pads so let me just grab our ink pads here. These are amazing. Uh, so Sheena's been talking all about um, our water reactive ink pads. You know how good they are. Uh, you can do so many different techniques with them, including paint with them, ink them, blend them, uh, lots of different ways of using them, even letter pressing through your embossing folder as well. Um, and you're getting, you're getting two bundles here. Are we getting all 15? all 15 that's amazing uh, so let's have a look at the ones that you're getting so you've got your pomace there turn these all around uh, you've also got your smoked pearl another beautiful color um sheena are these the sort of colors that you would go for you know what debbie i did a little swatch with some of the neutral colors oh, earlier okay. and um yeah i've got it here and absolutely and especially for the price that they are um yeah Definitely, because Let's have a look they, at your swatch. they're just such a good, they're such a good value. So a lot of them are muted, like neutral colours. Yeah. You need those colours. You need those colours because I paint with these as well. Yeah. So for shadows and for a background stamping, shadow stamping, where you're going to use the more muted colours in the backgrounds um, to showcase the brighter colours of your main image. Absolutely. Fabulous. Yeah, just they're just amazing. incredible. These are two of my favourites. I love green topaz and smoked emerald. I think they are absolutely, yeah, yeah just beautiful colours. Um, and actually, it's given me inspiration to uh, stamp with these sort of colours, which yeah. I've never done before, which yeah. would be amazing to draw they out would those colours. They look gorgeous. They that. would look absolutely yeah. gorgeous. So love those ones. But you're also getting your baby blue there. You've got your misty mornings. Uh, all beautiful undertones, these ones are. Um, you've got your twilight grey, your spa blue your anthracite you've got your sand uh, storm and then you've got your fryer brown oh and so you've got all the brown family there which is incredible you've got your fryer brown uh, and then oh <laughs> not doing very well here Sheila well don't tell Tracy not I've just marked the counter um, oh you've actually what a your, mess you've made see, I know I've made a mess don't worry I'll oh, clear up straight away <laughs> 
and your, bra your uh, seal brown as well in that collection. I will clear that out, so don't worry. Uh, all of those today, and uh, that's incredible price. So you're getting 15 ink pads there for £50 or $80, but look at the platinum price, uh, £40 or $64. Uh, right, we're going to head back to Sheena uh, and see what more goodies you've got in store for us, Sheena. Well, shall we, um, shall we paint a robin? I'm thinking this looks pretty. This is a really cool card Debbie's made here. And um, it'll be another little um, technique and some colouring for us. And we'll use the set, even though you look at that and going, wow, all those bright florally colours. But we're going to use the set of pens to colour this as well and to ink the background. Ba, ba, ba. So the first thing we'll do, let's do that embossing uh, background, the snowy background. So I've got a hexagon cut here and I'm going to place it in that kind of area of where the main um the big snowflake is because really i'm just wanting to um show the snowy bit around the outside so that's going to go in my um in the gemini and we'll emboss the background so we'll get that one done first <laughs> debbie's debbie hello debbie that be you then <laughs> Those ink pads, really, and you kind of, um, they're not the best for juggling. <laughs> I've noticed. <laughs> right, so now, so if you look how well, look how well Sorry, I'm, I'm picking up ink pads. Ink pads everywhere. <laughs> oh, bless her. <laughs> yeah, look at how well, how deep that embossing is. It's such a crisp, clear, gorgeous image. So that is going to sit on top of this here and that's going to be the background that we're going to sit the main focal image on. So I'm going to stick that now so that I don't um, we get that one sorted and prepared. So it's that's a nice shape. Thing. Yeah, it's nice, isn't it? Just and the thing is, you know, this is where those gorgeous packs that we were just talking about, those um, you know, the gold and the silver, the mirror packs and things, Debbie. Yep. Stunning for that, aren't they? So we've got that ready. The next thing is we're going to stamp and in fact, fact let's not. Let's leave the main image to last. Let's do the background. So the background, we're gonna ink it up. So you would think, if you look at this one, that we're gonna that's where you've got to go to your water reactive ink pads. Mm -hmm. Isn't it? Absolutely. But no, we're not, Debbie. Oh, no. We're not. No. no. We've got the colour chart here, which you're going to need. And we're going to need a, a bluey colour. Now, we've got a teeny blue, which would work nicely, to be honest. We could use that one there. So I'm not going to worry about it being the perfect blue. Um, you could mix it a little bit if you want, but I'm not going to worry about it. I think that's a great colour to go with the main bit of the card. So what I'm going to do is just scribble plenty of ink like that. I'm going to take my blending tool and my glycerin okay Ooh. and i'm going to pop some glycerin you need quite a bit for this not well i'll say quite a bit um well how would you describe that maybe half a pea size kind of thing but spread yeah. across the glass a bit mm -hmm. so the, what you need to do is get that glycerin into your blending tool to start with so what glycerin does it's um it's a natural substance it's vegetable glycerin um you um i don't know if it's a natural substance but it's it's vegetable glycerin it's safe um it's got no odor they use it in cosmetics a lot you know yeah. hand creams and things yeah you can just get it from the chemist can't you yes and from the chemist absolutely i got mine online you know yeah um and basically what it does it's going to slow down the drying time of anything that you um use it with but it also thickens the ink up as well so it's making this ink act exactly like you would expect um, a blendable ink pad to ink act. Ink pads, absolutely. And look at how well that's true. You, that is not. That shouldn't happen. <laughs> yeah, it's such a good technique that one. It's, and it's amazing for just something like glycerin can turn all your watercolor pens into ink pads. Absolutely. So look at the value you've got in this. You've got so much. Honestly, the the cards you can make and the playing you can do with what you've got in this collection is phenomenal. Uh, and look, I mean, and to be honest, it's gone all on there quicker than it would take with some ink pads, Debbie, to ink this whole area. So just a little bit more, if you just run out, just a little scribble more, that side, that one. And then we're gonna full bleach it, and full bleach is really well for the snow as well. 
which again you wouldn't expect no absolutely honestly this is why i keep saying that any aqua pens in any form are my desert island go-to yeah if i could only have one coloring product for the rest of all my shows in future these are the ones then any, yeah. any like the the, the tri blend uh, the tri colors or the regular um aqua pens Put me down for those. Thank you very much. I'm a happy camper. <laughs> They're yours, Sheena. Absolutely. I just said, you know, you were talking about what you like on the shows. Just like, well, obviously, <laughs> going to be the pens. So we've got a gorgeous background there, but it's really blended so nicely as well. And just, um, just for anyone that's watching that technique, Sheena. Yep. So if I know you're just doing the blue, but could you blend other colours the any same way colour, into those? Any as colour. Any well? colour. And plus, think of this. You've got bespoke colours, any colour you want to mix. You're not stuck with an ink pad. You can cut, you can mix any two right, colours together. Yes. You can, you, it's limitless what you can do. In fact, let's do a little bit of colour mixing when I've done this with those pens as well. Yes, that would be good. Show yes, you. absolutely. So just water. Now, if you want smaller dots or smaller fallen snow, you basically want less water on your brushes. This sounds a simple thing, but you know, these things you sometimes you forget you yep. don't you don't think of it um but it just means you've got to like tap your brush a bit more <laughs> to get the water off yes so you've got to be a bit more patient if you've got more water you're going to get big um like meteors of snow but then that's okay <laughs> as well you want that varying size because uh, the ones that are closer to you are going to look bigger look how see look. that already it's so pretty how pretty such is a that? pretty technique for ble bleaching ah oh, it's such and it's such it's so effective for things like snow isn't it so pretty because you get that random factor that you sometimes you know find it hard to get because sometimes when you're trying to put dots in the sky to represent snow you try to be random and it still ends up like um, you know, space invaders. <laughs> yeah, I just flick my fingers. <laughs> yeah, sorry? I just flick my fingers yeah, exactly. and end up with big blobs. That's but it. I do love this technique with the paintbrush. Yeah, I think you get a little bit more control with the paintbrush. Yeah. So that there now has given us that background. So I don't know what Debbie used to colour these, but it's nice to know that you can do all of this with what we've got in that bundle is it not so we're going to stick that on there now as well yep. um, where's me where's the glue thing right in front of me <laughs> always that's always. where i always, always put is, things right it? in front of me and then can never see oh them. that is so annoying when you look for like it seems forever and it's right there in front of you what yep. what's that about so or you've looked everywhere in front of you and yeah. then you turn you go and look somewhere else and turn back and it's there yes and you have, i could swear someone's put it there because I it think wasn't it's there the before borrowers or something <laughs> so there you go look see we've got that there so and you can just see which way you, if you think the snow looks better someone's actually it. asking where your hexagon dye came from i don't know because debbie cut it for me I don't uh, we know. do uh, we do some hexagon dyes in our sewing so if you look online you might be able to find some hexagon yeah. dyes yeah. um from our soft crafts because we do some uh, but they're mixed media ones but there is some hexagon ones there uh, it's a great idea actually to cut different shapes and still emboss that shape yes mm. absolutely absolutely um so that there is ready we've done that so far to then sit our there you go, our um, main focal point on there. But I was talking about the mixing the colours, wasn't I? About these colours here. So you've got primaries in here, Debbie. You've got your yellows, which is this yellow here. You've got yellow there. You've got your blue, which is your blue. And you've got your reds, which is this pink and your red in here. Yes. In here. So you can technically mix anything. So even skin tones. So if we take this green here, this one, this mid, no, not that one. It's the other green I like. Which one is it? bear with that green that green that's the green so for a skin tone you're better off with right so can you see the difference you've got this bluey green here and you've yep. got this warm green right so green's basically made up of yellow and blue isn't it yeah so this is why we say one green's warmer and which one's cooler the warmer green will have more yellow in it that's basically it so if it's yep. more towards the yellow side it's warmer green if it's got more blue in it it's a cool cooler. green right that's it so that that's it so we'll use the warmer green and we'll use the warmer red. So instead of this fuchsia pink colour, which is on the cool side there again, there, we'll put yep. the cool one. We've got the warm one, which is this scarlet or crimson in the middle. And that's going to go there. So warm colours and cool colours of, of the primaries. It's strange but true. Yep. You're just going to get different things, uh, mixes with them. So now that red and that green would never be a colour I would think to mix together. 
Yeah, well, here's the thing. If you want to make a skin tone, if you start off with a warm red and then bring in a little bit of green into it and keep mixing and look at what you're getting oh, wow. and then start testing it, you're going to get... Oh, my goodness, a, look at that. Look, see, and then when you add water to it... You've got a skin tone. Yeah. I would never put red and green together yeah, like that. That's that's it. Whenever I get a, a stamp set, a stamp um, collection or anything like that, I think, right, how am I going to mix a skin tone? That's my first thing I want to know. How can I mix a good skin tone with this? So if you want it less pinky, add a bit more green. You see now that one's less pinky? Yeah. Yeah? Oh, yeah. So many different times. Yeah, cool, isn't it? Yeah, that's amazing. And so, you know, with all the different skin tones, you just vary it. So more of one, one or the other. And if you can do a skin tone with your colour mixing, then you can do anything. When you look at those super vibrant colours there, if you get skin tone out of those two, you've got nothing to fear, have you? Absolutely. And so imagine all the ink pad versions of mm. a blended background with any colour you want to mix or multicolours. You can have it like, um, you know, so that it's a, a, an ombre from one tone to the next wow so that's amazing that up and then we'll have a bit more a bit more playing love that thank you for showing us that and it just like you say it gives you so many more colors in your pen set absolutely um, uh, helen is saying but would you still get then the 10 the 12 pen packs absolutely because you've got all yeah. those other colors to mix even more colors with as well so oh yeah uh, um, them both. yeah yeah, because they're bigger, the bigger quantities in those as well, in the yes. with 12 pens. Plus you get the dual nib on that as well. Because yes. you, you, that um, bullet nib is excellent for adding detail and um, extra highlights across there. So pop that on there. And we will pop, let me find my robin. I've lost my robin. Bear with, talk amongst yourselves. You know what, I've just looked at it now. Yep, got it. Okay, robin. Okay, so this one, I thought I'd use the stamping platform just so we can see, you know, if you want to use that one, um, how that would, would go as well. So we will pop this here. We're going to use the Finesse waterproof ink pad on this, Debbie. And I like, I don't know about you, but I just like the flagstone. Well, I don't just like the flagstone. I like the other colours as well. But I like the flagstone as my go-to colour. Mm -hmm because it's dark enough it's almost black but not quite as harsh as black and i like that so you don't lose any of the detail well, especially when it's a detailed stamp like this um but you just it's a little, little bit softer yeah the flagstone's a great one yeah i use flagstone all the time or pebble yeah um, pebble i quite yeah. like pebble as well pebble well kendall is saying that i wasn't going to get any of these she says but i had to after seeing what you can do with them <laughs> <laughs> Well, you know what? When I'm bringing, it's easy to draw pictures. I can I can supply with an endless number of drawn pictures. Pictures are one thing, but designing um, stamp suite and a collection is a whole other thing I because bet. everything needs to work with everything else. Yes. For value for money. So where so, did you start with this? So obviously, did we sort of ask you to do a Christmas collection? And do you then have snowflakes in mind or Christmas trees? Well, or where does that start? I started with the idea of the double exposure idea because I'd done some collections before like that right. when I was wandering. Yes. And it was super, they were super successful. Mm -hmm. People love that picture within a sheep look. Yep. Yeah. And I thought that would be lovely for Christmas. That would be really nice because I haven't done anything in this kind of format where it's a stamp and a die you know? mm -hmm. and and so that was the start of it and then i thought a very different scene so because it, to mix it up you know i didn't want scenes that were very similar and i wanted scenes that would be in the countryside and in the city so everybody could relate to everybody yeah absolutely um and then thought of how could we what would the supporting things be so yeah it starts usually off with a image idea for me mm -hmm. that's and then all the other bits I'll add it after that. So I have to say, Gina, I've loved everything you've done apart from one collection. And oh. I, I can't... Re oh. Oh. I, you know me, I'm an open book and I'm going to be honest. And I don't know what one it was. It was years ago. Uh -huh. And I, I'll tell you why, and people will understand this. Um, uh, well, they might not understand it. I don't understand it. No, you will when I show you. <laughs> so I can't remember what it was, but you had, like, torn images where there was yes, eyes and behind. there was an eye. 
Yes, it and was because I'm claustrophobic. Torn. I yes. couldn't stand it. I yes. couldn't look at it. <laughs> yes, did it scare you? Did it scare you? <coughs> what were they called? Um, I think it was torn. I think that's what I called it. Torn. Yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, yeah. I know which one you mean. Yeah. Yeah, because I'm claustrophobic, I just didn't like it. I used to panic that these eyes were behind <laughs> it and I wanted to get them out because I felt like they were confined to a, a small space. And people loved them and I remember it selling really well and I couldn't look at them. You couldn't do them. Please I don't ask me to do them. them. Yeah. But apart from that, Sheena, I've loved everything you do. Oh. So these took, so took me back to them because it's that yeah. behind that scene looking yeah. through, but they were looking yeah. at us. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, you're doing that. I'm that, no. I'll do the look and thank you very much. <laughs> Yeah, so this is like a portal as well, isn't it? It's like a portal into this world, what the snowflakes reflect in this world. <coughs> so remember that little bubbly bit, the little the dot. Um, Debbie's favourite bit, the dot. But, but let's not let's not um, rush over that yeah, bit there. Dot, Save yeah. the dot. That goes to the top on every one. And then if you get that in place and then just rotate your snowflake, you'll probably you'll get where it needs to be. And then a little bit of your low tack tape just to anchor it and then it's good to go through the machine so we'll run that through and then we'll color it in with the um, pens we'll continue with the pens and um, yeah I'm almost done it's really the, the, you know what they look wild cards the thing is with I am What's it? Shall word? I'm too. F I'll say frugal. There's other words. <laughs> to have collections that are all embellishments to meet the wow cards. Yeah. Because I don't want to use them up. Oh, of course. You know, so when people use a lot of things and they put this on, they stick that on, stick that on, and they look amazing, but it, cost-wise, it could be quite costly. Have you enjoyed and doing the die cutting side? Because obviously, you, most of yours is messy and painting. And yeah. So is it quite nice doing a little bit of the the sort it of embossing is. and die cutting? Yeah, it is. Because I mean, I've done quite a few dies in the past, and mm. a lot of the time, the stamps and die yes. collection. Um, so it's nice to get back to that stamp and die Absolutely. thing. Absolutely. Because everything's got its own power up, you know, and it might be stamps, die, stencils that we're bringing to you in the future. Mm, I don't know. <laughs> um, yeah, so more, more of that, if you're liking that, that's all happening. But, um, yeah, I can't even remember what I was saying then. I was on the track. Sorry, I was, no? just, yeah, I was just um, well, I it was couldn't rudely have been that interrupting. Important. Couldn't have been that important, could it? So, right, so the pens. We'll... Um, continue colouring this in here so uh, let's colour the robin in so the robin I want to use a nice vibrant red for the robin and I'm looking I'm scanning um, rose pink no why can I not see it when it's right in front of me have I put that pen somewhere <laughs> we were just talking about this <laughs> no it's there it's, it's there. there I just got there it is oh, it's hiding it's sad but true so i'm going to scribble a bit of this crimson and i'm also going to scribble a bit of the orange because it looks really nice if the robin the, the uh, breast on the robin isn't completely just one flat color i think this might be my favorite the robin yes. yeah you really when i said i'll give you the it. choice now which one will we do debbie so if you don't like these ones you've got debbie to thank <laughs> I love it. I love a robin though. Yeah. I love a robin all year round. Oh yeah. But I do think yeah, Christmas and having a robin is just uh, they're, it's uh, just, I just yeah. I love all these stamps. I think they're absolutely beautiful. I think you've absolutely nailed the design. Oh, thank you. So he's got his little red breast there. So you see how it's got like goes glowy, kind of a bit more orangey at the top and a bit more a bit darker underneath there. And what we're going to do is we're going to mix the brown to colour them in, Debbie. So we've already got those there. So let's pop a little bit of the green in there. Remember, because we'll get a brownie colour if we mix these together. Yeah, it's funny, isn't it? Because I would think of red and green to mix for a brown, but never uh -huh. to do a skin tone. Yeah, yeah. So it's well, just the amount, isn't it? Yeah, so all you basically do with a skin tone, we need that little bit cooler. So I'm going to pop a little bit more of the... Let's try this cooler green in there, just to make this a cooler, a cooler brown. Yeah, that's better, better there. Um, so with the... Um, with the skin tones, you're basically starting off with the brown, Debbie. If you think of that, that's how you're starting it with the yeah. brown, and then that's and then lightening it, and that's that's basically giving you that um, that really um, nice different um, shade. So yeah, you do start with a darker colour and then just add 
the water to it. I suppose it's just having the confidence, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. And so this, I'm just going to lighten a little bit on the top. I want a little bit lighter, but you can always put a highlight back in there. And we'll pop a little <coughs> bit of colour his little face in a little bit there. And then he's almost just put a little bit there so it looks like there's a little uh, shading. That's him just about done. We can make his beak a little bit um, darker. We'll put a little bit black on there later. But um, I'm going to speed colour the berries, OK? I'm going to try and pick up the speed here. And we're going to use that red again that I've just used. And this time we're just going to use the pen directly because it's quicker. Yeah. But try and leave a highlight on them, OK? Try and leave a little white bit on your berries. And it makes them look like they're shiny. Yeah. Nice so healthy. even though they're small, still put that highlight. Yes, still leave that little highlight if you can. Um, you can even, believe it or not, contour these. So if you if they were a little bit bigger, or if you felt so inclined, if you do the bright red on them, um, like if you want to do the perfect berry, what I would have done is do orange underneath, but leave the white still. Okay, yeah. Yep. But paint the rest of it orange, and then use like a, a maroon colour or a purpley colour. Um, after you've done the red to give it even more contouring which gives it more of a shading colour it sounds like what but it does if you want to have a practice and play you can take it that far um, let me show you how maybe you can see a little bit it's 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 your choice this is it you, you it's your choice how how far you want to take the shading and the colouring and things but I've just let me pop a little bit of this purple just on a couple and then you can maybe just pick that up i mean the dimension of that is incredible they but they really pop don't they the berries yeah. just they pop just by putting that's that little incredible bit of purple around the dark areas the shades of bits and then we're going to need a brown for the um for the branch so it's uh, just to show you how you've got all the colors you need in here to do these things we'll use that um red and we'll use this green and we'll mix them together and that should give us a nice warm brown and it has so this will go like this on the branch and i'm painting more the base of the branch just very clever i mean not only you're painting but just to be able to know how to mix your colors like you do it's just you know what you stubby it's like i've said before if you could learn to drive by just reading the book yeah you can't. What you learn to drive is you, and even after you pass your test, you're still learning to drive, Absolutely, aren't you? Yes. So I'm still learning after about forty years. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Um, but so that's basically it's just do it, you know. But but be mindful as well when you're playing, and you know think if you and make a little note if you need to. Take a picture with your phone if you need to. If you think, wow, that yes. worked well. Um, I'd like to do that again, you know. So so just. That's, that's the way to go with it, guys, is just um, try and um, notice what went right as well as what didn't go yes. right. Because we're usually, yep. we're really good at re remembering what didn't go right, but we're not so good at, you know, no noting the, the things that went really well. I'm one of these people that think, oh, that's really good. And because it was so good, I know I remember. But then when I come back to it, I've yes. forgotten. Yes. <laughs> You know what, it's the same with techniques and things. We do that with techniques you forget about, you forget you know, and you go, oh, I haven't done that for ages, let's do that again. Um, this is where little recipe books and things are good, you know, to keep. Um, even just your phone, if you put a folder on your phone when you're working, and take pictures in stages so that if you're practising something, like if you're trying something out, you know at what stage not to do that again. Do you know what I mean? If it didn't, if yes. it didn't work. So I'm using that lighter green and then I'm going in with the darker now, Debbie, with the holly. Looks amazing. Uh, Kathy's had an interest and I never knew this. So she's saying that she loves robins, uh, but for us in Canada, the robins fly south for the winter. So when we look for robins to come back, we know that spring's arrived. Ah. Isn't that nice? I know cardinals are really popular cardinals, Christmas cards. Yes, for Christmas, yeah. Aren't they in America? Yeah, that's really interesting. I never really thought about that. Mm. I never actually... If I'm honest, never thought that robins are worldwide. Uh, I don't know whether I just wanted them to just be a British bird. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're just ours there. Yeah. 
not sharing. <laughs> yeah, there are robins. <laughs> um, do you get robins in all countries then? Perhaps you don't know. I might have to Google that. that oh, isn't sense. that fantastic? I do that all the time. You know, watching TV and you go, oh, back in the day, you would lose the whole plot of a programme trying to think where you've seen that person before. <laughs> now, I just think, right, I'm not wasting time with this. My phone comes out and I Google it and I'm like, right, yep, yeah, that's fine. Moving on. And it's the same with anything you want to know. You can just pick up your phone, can't you? I know. Just, just check it. Even on the, um, the phone I've got, if you take a picture of a bird, a, a plant, an animal, and then you drag up, it tells you, look up, and it tells you what it is from the picture. Well, I think we need to learn more about robins. It says across the world there are a huge variety of other robins, including the white-starred robin of southern Africa and the magpie robins of Asia and Africa. Whoa. There is also an American robin. There you go. Wow. Wow. Anything you want to know about robins? Debbie's your woman. I'll Google for you. <laughs> Debbie, can, Debbie can. A few do migrate south to continental countries, yeah, because of the summer. Wow. Um, but whilst most robins in the UK are residents, um, they're never far away from their home territory in the winter and summer. Mm. Mm. So that's why they say when you uh, have robins in your garden, you'll have them for life, don't you? Well, oh, yeah, we've life, got robins. So. We've yes. got them, yeah. yeah. Right, so I'm going to use that same blue that we did for the background so it all coordinates very, very nicely, Debbie. Um, I think it was this one. No, it was not that one. It was that one. That kind of like um, slightly petrol-y kind of blue, wasn't it? So I'm going to use this for the sky. And I'm going to do that same technique where you use... Uh, more ink and less water mm -hmm. and I'm not worried about I could paint around the snowflakes but I haven't so don't worry about it if you just want to put the colour on and then worry about that later yeah. or oh, don't worry at all basically don't worry be happy <laughs> but you paint don't around worry. it we can we can put that back in is what I should have said the snow so dark and then to light and kind of like in bands across so um, go back over that bit a little bit there and come down and then we are adding water there and again just popping that there so you can get really intense colour by just using less water with this ink and they're just um, they, these pens are just such a great I'm so pleased they bundled these with this collection because they just work so well mm, with everything. There's not one, one um, image, one set of stamps that these pens wouldn't work great with in this collection. It's always nice when you can use products that you enjoy using, but also that you get the colours that you want. Yeah, absolutely. You're not compromising anything. You've got everything and more with this, of these fabulous. And are you using the smaller brush of our... Um, I'm using the number before? six still, oh, Debbie. Oh, number six, yeah. so that's quite uh, a bigger you one. You know what? If you look after your brush and it's got a nice point, you should be fine to oh, just okay. um, just keep using that, that brush. Yeah. Um, I know you tend to think, oh, I'll be moved down a size because I'll have more control and stuff. Yeah. But if, it's, if you've looked after it, after it, not left it standing in the water. <gasps> <laughs> um, Who said that? I've, no, I've never heard that. <laughs> no, that's all right. But you, yeah, we're not even thinking of it, though. No, we're not, not even, even thinking even of it, no. Debbie. We don't know who does that. Not even thinking of it. Um, and then you've got like a, it looks a little bit darker than Debbie's, but I wanted it to look a bit more nighttime. Mm -hmm. So you've got that wintry kind of sky going so on there. Good. And then we we'll use the same colour just to go across. The um, underneath the trees is going to be dark here, so we'll pop that under there. And there's a couple of the trees you could use the blue just to um, emphasize that. And just drag it across some of the oh, I've missed some holly. Uh oh, <laughs> underneath the deer here. We'll I'll paint those little deer brown as well. We missed that. It's just lovely. I feel like there's so much detail in these stamps that you can really have a play with these. Oh, you know what? You can just play so long with these because there, there, there is. There's just so much um, 
Uh, well, yeah, this for me, um, I would like. I've always said the the good um, crafting uh, product for me is something that I can use out the box and yeah. it looks good straight as it is, and I can make something quick with it without having to work too hard. But that will grow with me. That I, is going to keep me interested yes. for a bit to come. Yeah. And I like the idea of this because obviously with us crafters, we do lots of different concept cards. You could use this outline of this for an aperture at the front of your card and yeah. then your stamp on the inside of the card as well. Absolutely. Just so clever. Absolutely. It was, um, yeah, I enjoyed um, you know designing them and, and putting them together. Again, just traditional images that, you know, we, we just keep coming back to, don't we? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Everyone else is loving them. Mary Pat is saying good morning, everyone uh, from a sunny Montana. And she says, I am totally in love with this collection, Sheena. Oh, lovely. Thank yeah, you. absolutely loving it. Sarah's saying that she loves a robin. It's so lovely. Um, and saying, yes, the, uh, the robins are a symbol of spring in the US, um, certainly in the northern US. Um, yeah, so amazing. Love uh, that. Oh. And Rhonda's in saying good morning, Debbie Sheena and the CTV crew, uh, Team Social, and uh, everybody to her wonderful crafty peeps. Oak Park today is quite cool today. Oh, a bit chilly in Oak Park today. Where is Oak Park? Quite cool. Cool, yes. Mm. Cool as in hip and trendy, or cool yeah, as in a bit as chilly? In like, yeah, <laughs> as in like burr. Yes. So. You can colour these little bits here as well if you want. So if you're really careful with the pen, um, colour these in. But what you can also do is, I don't know if it'll work on this card, is you can pull some of the colour out like this so it looks like it's, there's like a highlight on it. Do you know what I mean? I'll Absolutely. Show you I mean. So we'll Chicago, that that's where Oak Park is. Chicago. Chicago. Be nice to go to Chicago. The Windy George City. wants to go to Chicago. Would you like to go to Chicago? Have you been to Chicago? I haven't been to Chicago. No, I didn't get to go there. But I always think of Calamity Jane when I think of Chicago. Ah, yes. Chicago. Yeah. I'm singing it in my head. Just got back from the Windy City. The That's Windy the one. City is mighty pretty. Got, got what, what we got. got. That's no, sorry. Oh, I love um, Doris Day. So this looks a little bit time consuming, but it does look really cool if you want to do it. There's all these little extra bits that, you know, it's like, oh, that's a bit clever, but it's like gives it that um, shiny ombre look. So basically I'm putting a little bit at the top and the bottom and then I'm dragging the color out and it makes it look like it's kind of shiny. These little, this little filigree bit around the outside. Um, I can shall I just continue doing that. We may as well finish it, eh? think it wise and again if you find you need a smaller brush for this absolutely just size down with the brush but it does look I think it's worth doing for sure so Cindy is saying Sheena while you're painting um, she said you seem to be moving your brush in a circular motion um, is that your preferred choice to up and down and back and forth um, yeah it depends what I'm painting if okay I'm, yeah so it's just personal choice or it is it's just it depends on it depends what i'm painting if i want to blend often circles are great circles are really good because what what you do is it, it's um it, it's kind of blended quicker you know mm -hmm. you um you get less lines it's if you use back and forward it can become quite linear you know what i mean yes uh-huh Yeah, choose what suits you. Uh, Sarah's saying, yes, Debbie, the robins seem to be slightly di different in the, um, than the UK robins. The American robins are a lot bigger than the UK ones. Uh, and Kathy is saying that the robins are slightly different. They have a full red breast and are called American robins. Um, oh. And Terry is saying robin is our state bird in Wisconsin. Oh. There you go. Lots of robin talk today. Yeah. I think I've seen those huge robin pictures and thought, wow. I'm going to have to Google they them, They are sizable, yeah. Because yeah. the one we've got in the garden are tiny little round things. Yeah, and we only have that part red breast, don't we? Then yeah, the rest underneath that's right. is brown. So I'm just dragging that colour and just continuing as I go around. Oh, I'm nearly there, Debbie. Yeah. <laughs> well, at least you've had some interesting robin facts. 
I know. Um, we love that. We love when we do animal facts. Um, yeah. We learnt a lot about. We've learnt a lot about dragonflies on here. All sorts of things. Yeah. Which it's curious good. minds. It's a healthy thing, Debbie. Absolutely. Every day is a school day, as they Absolutely. say. Absolutely. Um, this is lovely watching this come together because it just looks absolutely stunning. Uh, I love this design. I love that looking through that snowflake. It's absolutely, uh, it's, it's very clever, very clever design. Thank you. This was going to be a bit quicker, but I got, I did decide I wanted to do this little ombre thing for you and because it, it does look really nice. It does look very cool. It does, it finishes off. So, and this is where you've got all your choice comes in. You can leave it white, you can colour it, it's, it's all there. You're not going to get bored. Um, it looks, you know, it looks, it looks great if you just leave it. So, it just depends what time you've got, what your inclination is, really, and um, what, you know, I was just thinking the same thing. It does boil down to time, doesn't it? So yeah. if you'd like to do a bit more on your project, this is a really good way to enhance. Absolutely. So that there, and we'll pop some, we'll dry this up quickly and then pop some white on it. But it looks like a nighttime scene now with that slightly darker blue. It's just beautiful. Um, I'm going to dry that, put the white back on, put a bit of bling on it. And we'll, um, that card should be just about almost put ready to put together with the little strings of blingy things on it. Well, Sarah Brown, she's got some interesting facts as well. You're all coming in with your interesting facts. She's saying, uh, here um, is some info in Aussie robins. Uh, they're pink, orange and yellow. Australian robins are one of the country's most colourful birds. The first oh, thing you need to know about Australian robins is that they're nothing like European robins. They actually belong to a family called a Petrocidus. Cider, cider um, or Australian robins, which contains 49 species. Wow. <laughs> Very interesting. Wow. There you go, you see? We've got it all here, have we not? That looks stunning, uh, Gina. Those, I think, putting that extra detail around the edges yeah. makes such a difference. I think it looks nice, doesn't it? It's worth doing if you can. And you know what? Sitting in front of the TV with these pens, it's doable, isn't it? You know, just chilling. Yeah, amazing. So I'm just popping that snow back in. And what you'll find with your white gel pen is that it's really white when it first goes on, but it kind of picks up a bit of the under color as well. So it'll be less white, but you can go over it. Um, so, I, you know, you can be, act as kind of a, an undercoat, the first layer, if you want to have it a bit whiter in places. And if you've lost that little highlight on your berries, that's where you can pop your little highlight back with your white pen just go around and check that you've got that all there as well and the same with your holly if you want to pop a little bit of a, a highlight on some of your leaves you can pop a little bit there i've gone quiet sheena because i'm reading about blue eggs now blue eggs blue eggs because american robins lay blue eggs wow uh, due to a uh, pigment called Billy Verdin, which is deposited on the eggshells when the eggs are laid. Wow, look at that, blue eggs. Well, there you have it. So I'm going to, this is going to sit on there, like that. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, look at that. That looks beautiful. It's pretty, isn't it? Um, um, I've got the little bling bits that we're going to pop on here. And I think I'm going to use a 3D glue instead of the foam. I'm going to 3D glue. I've, I've located some, Debbie, the foam pad. Oh, the foam amazing. Pads. Amazing. So I think we're good. So um, this one here, where is it? I just saw it. Um, we're just going to go... Yeah, chunky version, 3D glue. 3D glue, do our chunky glue, our chunky glue as our yeah. um, Debbie Robinson and says. And that's going to go there like that. So that gives it a little bit of a lift. This is going to have a little bit of a lift as well. And again, you would do this a little bit more carefully at home when you do yours, but that would do for now. And that'll go on there like that so pretty give that and then these little guys it's best if you could let this dry before you leave um, in fact i won't stick it 
Right, let's just look at some of these samples because that is absolutely stunning. So just seeing some of these uh, are absolutely uh, gorgeous. Uh, yeah. Love this one. Uh, so Gina's just finishing off. I'm going to show you some more samples in a second, but we're just going to see Gina's finished card. Fantastic. So I'm just going to stick these little bling things around here. Let's do a little bit of it. Let's do a little bit. Oh, no, come on. Yeah, oh, phew, I thought the glue was going to let me down then, oh, Debbie. Oh, I thought you had a blockage. All the sticky stuff I've got here. No. <laughs> no. We'll pop that there. So we've got one on like that. Um, I may not do them all, but just so they can see the idea. So lovely. But it's so... It, when, you know what this fab is that we've done this in real time. Mm. You know, we literally have created this together. Yes. Um, I love that. Love that we can do that. It's because... why I love your show, Sheila, if I'm honest. I love seeing something from start to finish come together. It's almost like we get a, a full craft along when you're in here. Yes. People can go back, they can follow, they can pause, they can watch you, they can do your techniques. Um, and I think you offer us something every single week you're here. Oh, thank you. I, lo I love it because it, it does give me the chance. It's like proper proper crafting natural crafting because um it, you know i'm playing and then it and then it, like you know what it's like you go off you get an idea and then you, you're off on a tangent aren't you but and then you'll come back and you'll try something different but i think that's quite the way we do craft isn't it we yes. we do go on little tangents well that's me more than most i know but there you go <laughs> um and and that's that's the fun of it for sure it's absolutely um, stunning and also, you know, I had a couple of people ask about a craft along, but as you said, Debbie, if you, these are all available, yeah. just get the stuff ready. Absolutely. And you really have got virtually the, the craft along. Yes. Anyway, because yeah. we, we do, and I do spend the time, I don't think I leave anything out. You know, there's nothing more I would tell you on a mm -hmm. craft along than what I'm telling you when we're doing yes. this, to be honest. I, I have no filter. <laughs> <laughs> it's all there for you. Absolutely, and just such a lovely way to do it. And I think it's really ingenious seeing things come on from start to finish. And actually, I think what they also offer us is a time to practice. Uh, so make sure if you're loving uh, Sheena's, Sheena's de demos that you uh, save the show and go back and re-watch it and practice that technique um, because I think it's really worthwhile because you'll get these sort of results with them because the stamps are so good. The stamps offer all that detail uh, for you to just colour in. Just stunning. All right, I'm going to leave it at that because we could go on quite a bit to stick some other bits on. I should have stuck this one on here. Let's. Betsy's asking let's... what size your blue background is. Sorry? Betsy's asking what size that blue background piece is. What of size? Card I'll is. measure it in a sec. Right, I'll pop that there. And then I'll give that a measure. Right, so size of it is centimetres. It's six and a half squared. Six and a half centimetres. Or inches. It would be, oh no, it's, yeah, six, not, and it's six and a half inches yes. squared. <laughs> right, that's not my thing. Yeah, you know what? I thought that's not right, six and a half centimetres squared. <laughs> That'd be like that, wouldn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Been a long Six day. and a half inch square. Yeah. Uh, Sarah's saying also absolutely beautiful card. Um, uh, beautiful card. Beth is saying beautiful card. Lots of beautiful cards coming in. Lois is saying very pretty card. Thank you, Sheena. It just brings a smile to your face. Absolutely. Uh, Cindy saying I will be re-watching a lot. Uh, I like all of Sheena's videos. She helps me to be brave and have a play. Uh, exactly what we were saying about being uh, confident enough to take on um, the stamps and actually have someone that's holding your hand every step of the way and Sheena definitely does that for us. Um, I'm just going to show a few of her samples that the design, what well, Sheena's design team have done uh, because they're absolutely beautiful. Look at that one with those children in the window. It's just absolutely stunning. Uh, that robin and using that larger robin at the front there just looks absolutely beautiful. So many gorgeous designs, lots of different ways that you can be using them. Um, I can't remember who asked the question but apologies. I know someone asked if you could be making five by seven cards with this absolutely I think you can make any size with this so this one is bigger than a five by seven but if you take away the glitter side at the, the sides um, and cut it down you can see that could be a five by seven card <coughs> right we're going to take a little short break um, and we will see you back uh, right in a little while welcome to crafters tv 
With more than 35 hours of live shows each week, it's your home for all things craft. We shine the spotlight on new and innovative crafting products with live tutorials and demonstrations. Join our family of craft experts where fun happens every day. Are we in trouble or are we all right? <laughs> yeah. Should be, should be coming in. in, should be coming. <laughs> what does she do? Exactly what does she do? Looks. <laughs> this is awesome. This is awesome. Get creative and craft along. With our amazing deals, your next craft project is just a click away. Tune in live seven days a week, or you can watch us on Catch Up at crafterscompanion.com, Facebook, or our YouTube channels. You can chat to us, craft along, and meet new friends by joining our online crafting community. And I want you every day and it's just what really gets you through when you're really at rock bottom there's a show for every type of crafter from first-time dabblers to full-time makers crafters tv create every day here at Crafters TV, it couldn't be easier to get your hands on the latest crafty must-haves. Leave the hard work to us while you shop from the comfort of your own living room. Head to the Crafters Companion website to see our full crafty range, or hit the Shop the Day button to see all the new and exciting products featuring on Crafters TV. Once you've filled your cart, leave it to us to get your crafty goodies to you in super quick time so you can get on with being creative. Crafter's Companion, making crafty shopping a breeze. If you love Crafter's TV, we've made it easy for you to watch us wherever you are. Whether you catch us on your tablet or take us with you on your mobile phone, it's easy to watch us anywhere from here to here. Maybe don't watch us here. It would be easy to watch us here. Probably the easiest place to watch us is here. Crafters TV, with you wherever you are. get to know people from places and walks of life that we wouldn't come across in our everyday life if it wasn't for um, Crafters TV and doing what we do. I got so many lovely comments from people when I started doing the presenting and it was just really such a lovely um, feeling and it's nice that people keep messaging in you know we see the same same people and we know you can build up that kind of relationship with those people so it's just the fact that people like what we do and they're pleased and I do love it when people send us photographs of the items they've made. We talk about customers but really they go in as a customer, come out as a friend. The support that I get is amazing. The messages I get are amazing. Me, personally, it is personal interaction. I've never had the best of health. I've always been open about that uh, with our viewers at Crafters TV. So many people are in the same situation as me health-wise. Other people have got a completely different health issues. They understand and they relate to what I'm going through, what others are going through. So whether we interact on a crafting basis or whether we interact on a health basis, a personal basis, we are all there to support one another. It is incredible. The reaction of viewers when they come to meet us is worth all of the, the early mornings when we have to get up for our early morning shows. Some of the customers come on as craft ambassadors and things like that, craft along with us and being able to actually chat with them on air. I love it, I really love that connection with them. We've had lots of uh, shows where we've done like um, craft alongs especially, where we've had viewers craft along with us. We had a particular viewer, Joy, who joined us once before and she literally made me cry on air and Jo uh, because the things she said about us it really was quite humbling that there are people out there that watch us and and invite us into their living rooms and really treat us like family
welcome back to Crafters TV. Are you enjoying the show as much as me? Because uh, watching Sheena firsthand uh, is absolutely incredible. Uh, she's done the most amazing demos. Uh, now you've joined us for launch day where we're launching Sh Sheena's new snowflake. So it's a lot of S's in there. Snowflake collection. Uh, and it's actually absolutely beautiful. It's the snowflake stories. Uh, we've got a showstopper, which has got ink pads in it. We've also got the color, uh, tricolor pens as well or aqua pens uh, it's an absolutely beautiful collection if you want to be creating stamping uh, die cutting and embossing uh, then go for that showstopper collection because it's amazing 68 pounds today or 80 dollars something else you might need as well is your stamping platform uh, we have got a stamping platform um, and our stamping mat as well alongside some of our uh, nina cardstock so if you're doing your alcohol coloring uh, this bundle is just for you it's absolutely stunning um, and you can really get some uh, precision stamping with that as well uh, great price today with a saving of 9.99 or platinum price is 16.78 or 22 dollars 32 so a really nice one to go with there um right we've uh, pr completely up to date with uh, questions everyone's saying wow and a lovely card um uh candy is saying uh, she's got a question she doesn't know how to label her handmade cards do i put handmade by um handcrafted by or hand created by or created by or yeah. something else i think you could put any of those yeah. i think everyone sounds uh, really good um i would put um handcrafted by i think that sounds lovely that doesn't sounds it nice. yeah also they all sound nice so i would go for anything anyway we've got a few pictures to show you so uh, being sent in uh rosalind sent in this one. Oh, look oh, at the coloring yeah, on ages this ages ago yeah i remember those they were from christmas ones the they're amazing so very um retro rat pack kind of 50s kind i love of. it yeah because see sammy davis and um frank sinatra are there yes absolutely the cocktail, yeah. i love them Dino. and i love a cocktail absolutely yeah. um if, do you have a favorite favorite cocktail at all Sheena yeah my favorite cocktail I like a margarita oh okay but I tell you where the best margarita was the hotel um the Capistrano Oh, that was where nice. they filmed some like a hot. Oh, that was in America amazing was that was very nice I think mine at the moment is Singapore sling yeah Yes, nice. only because I went and had one when we were in Singapore. When you think about that, at Raffles, thing, yeah. the hotel, see, it's, yes. It's, I absolutely. think the location helps when you think. Yes, so, yeah, absolutely, definitely. absolutely. Uh, Rosalind sent in another one as well, another beautifully coloured oh, picture. Oh, yeah, I remember those as well. Yeah. Yeah. A Mockingbird Hill stamp. Absolutely. That is absolutely gorgeous. Thank you, Rosalind. And Rosalind sent in another one. Um, oh, canvas painting that's nice do you paint on canvas sheena yeah you know what canvas is tricky to, to stamp onto because ah. it, it's flibbity floppity yes a canvas board is easier yeah canvas board if it's if you're stamping on canvas it usually um you know you've got the frame around your canvas mm -hmm. you have to kind of um put some hooks or something in the middle of the frame yeah um big books something that will support the canvas while you stamp on it yeah very ah. cool Amazing. Rosalind, thank you for sending those in. That's lovely to see. Uh, keep sending your pictures in because we've got another show tonight with our Sheena. Uh, she's going to be in with our Ben so, uh, and showing you lots more hints and tips and techniques as well. We've got our beautiful beginning show uh, and I'm sure we might even be bringing a little bit of our uh, launch in there as well. Uh, right, we haven't got long, literally about 15 minutes, so we're going to head straight back to Sheena uh, just to get another quick demo in. Sheena, what have you Yes, got well, us? I thought we'd use a couple of the ink pads from the um, that fabulous collection of uh, the water reactive bundle and I've got the little kids looking out the window so this is going to be one of those ones you know that the stamp it and drag the line thing. yes yep. just to let you see different colors are going to give it a different look um, I'm using green topaz I might do two and see which one I like best because I do love smoked pearl as well for this it looks I think it looked really pretty with the bling on there it looked very vintage this will look bright and festive color with the green but the smoked pearl option I may may have time to do it or may not but we'll see <laughs> um would be another way to go to make it look a bit more muted color so um I'm just ink I've inked that up really well and I want to make sure I get the nice plenty of I wanted plenty of ink on this because they really I'm going to depend on a lot of the ink that's on there yep. to colour it in without having to add any more. Oh, amazing. Yeah. 
So, yep, yeah, that's great. That you can is work beautiful. With that. That's really pretty. So now we'll take that off there, pop that underneath. It's such a nice colour, that, isn't it? It's a, really nice. It's dark. It's a strong green, but it's not too vivid. It's quite soft. Yes, lovely. So first thing is I'm going to, as always, water, add just water. And yes, there you go. There's the circles. It just gets the ink <laughs> blended a little bit. It just seems to, yeah, that's what I do. Um, and we'll get these blended here. Now we'll probably end up adding a little bit more ink in places to get make sure the contrast there, because that's the important, that's the, the, the winner word with this technique is contrast. You need to keep the contrast going. Yes. So you need some solid dark bits, some really dark bits where the ink isn't gonna get any darker to white and everything in between. All right, so yep. that's what your aim is, guys, with this technique. So just looking at the folds in our nighty, we can just pop that there like that. So already you can see she's starting to have some kind of shape there, um, but we're gonna definitely add more um, ink in places, as I said. The curtains here. And it's just so subtle, isn't it? It is, yeah, absolutely. It's such a, but it is such a, achievable technique this it's in, and it's quick it's affordable because you're only using one ink pad but again and if you want to make lots of cards this could be the way to go instead of you know because sometimes you make a few special ones won't mm -hmm. you with everything everything going on i love but the monochrome card yeah i think they look lovely because your little embellishments those little strings of bling things you could ink your card up and then cut them out that colour as well so everything's coordinating perfectly so already even just with that little bit of water without adding any more contrast to it I think it's looking starting to look really really cool don't you think Debbie yeah very cool I love this technique I just think it's so nice and it's easy because you've put the the lines in the right places for people exactly. to follow exactly all you're doing is just agitating that ink a little bit, encouraging it to move a little bit, and just to get that little bit of movement. Now the hair, a bit more. So I'm using like kind of, um, again, that circular kind of blend to get that ink moving and more towards the base and less towards the top because I want it to look still like it's highlighted a bit. I'm but actually it, thinking that Friar Brown would look amazing because it would then, doing this technique, would make it look like a bit of a sepia photograph, Yeah, it, it would look absolutely gorgeous. It would look so good. This is where each one's going to give it a different look. Exactly, that would look really pretty in it. Um, so this is now where you can start um, darkening bits by putting a bit more of your green from your ink pad just to give it a bit more contrast in areas where you want it really dark or um, darker than, you know, underneath in here, you want this really dark. So just what you're gonna do, the best thing to do with this, remember when you used to make you draw with um, pencil at school, you used to put a, um, usually a fruit bowl or a vase of flowers um, on a table and you had to sit and draw it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Well, that was so that you got used to working tonally. So, because everything's just grey, isn't it? So it's graphite. So you'd work from the darkest to the lightest with the pencil line. And that's what you're doing this with the ink, the same kind of deal. Yeah. Where you're creating all that shading and contouring by just using that one ink. But you're making it easy because we haven't got to draw it. We can just stamp exactly. It. <laughs> that's it. Yeah, that's precisely. Yeah. So don't have flashbacks at school if you think, oh, I hate to do that. <laughs> yeah. Don't. No. Back to me. Back in the room. Back in the room. You're yeah, fine. Yeah, I could never draw because the, the, that's all done for you. That bit, as Debbie says, we've taken care of that for you. So can you see how much more impact that one's got now? Yeah. Yeah, it's lovely. So the sky, um, you could make it nighttime again and leave the snow and paint around it, which is an option. Should we do that? Mm. I like that idea. And we can put um, some um, white back in with the gel pen, yeah? Sounds good. I just like seeing anything you do, Sheena. <laughs> <laughs> just keep playing. 
Yeah, it's just incredible. I love things. I love your shows because literally everything gets transformed before our eyes. Oh, and that's that's the fun of it, isn't it? It's, it's these are perfect for me. These Wednesdays are like oh, finally, because you know trying to do this in five minutes, you would yes. never get the concept over. Absolutely. But having the real time to show you the value because what the things that I bring to you the value in the thing most things I bring to you is the um, creative options really so you can't show all the creative options in five or ten minutes do you know what I mean yes that's the that's the um, that's the whole point is it keep you keep going way beyond the ten minutes of you first using them I think we've got everything on there now and we've got a bit of light and dark um, and the contouring I think so yeah so the next thing is just have a look see if there's anywhere you think you could have it a bit darker if you want to be really brave about it you can darken some areas still and then you are good you're good to go with that it's amazing looks um, absolutely beautiful And just think of the light at the in the centre here. I'm thinking of a glow towards the the front, and I think we're pretty much good with that, Debbie. Amazing. And we can just pop a little bit of white on there if you want, and these little strings because these are little hanging snowflake mobiles that the kids have got in the window. We we'll make that a bit darker again because that could be. And then we can put some white over the top of it. And actually what you've shown, Sheena, is that no matter what colour you stamp down, you can still do this amazing technique. Yeah, absolutely. It's a great technique. It's a, such a, a, such a cost-effective, affordable, but really cool-looking technique. It's like a black-and-white photo, but any colour. Mm. Uh, so, Kathy's just asked a good question. I don't actually know this, but she's put, can glossy highlights be spread with a paintbrush to make it thinner like on the window pane to make your yeah. window pane yeah. shine. The only thing is be careful with that because if you use it on top of a water-based product yeah it could lift that wall that color oh, up again smudge yes. it. so make sure it's well set before you try that yeah right for sure so you can go back and we can put the snow back in this that way Based out there. We're going to get a vote going in just Yay. a second. So uh, once uh, Sheena's got a little white marker yeah, in play. I think that's giving you an idea of how that would work. And then you're going to cut that out. And then you've got another. That's top so of amazing. Absolutely amazing. Uh, beautiful that one is. Uh, Sheena, can you get your two cards sure. uh, ready? And we're going to have a vote of the show. Now, if you want that show stopper, uh, which has those ink pads in, it has the two ink pads, also has the beautiful tri blend pens. Um, they look incredible. Um, and we've also got a bonus buy that will go alongside those uh, with the incredible ink pads as well. Uh, you can get those today for £85 or $100. Uh, platinum price is £68 or or $80. Uh, so make sure you go for that um, showstopper. It's the best deal uh, with all those added extras in there as well. Uh, right, Sheena, a number on each, please. Okay, so this was card number one. There you go. That's card beautiful. number one. I'll pick it and give it a wiggle for you. Got the little swirly bits, and that was that monochrome stamping that we've just seen. Love so that card one. Number so one. number one. And card number two. Number two. It's very difficult. Oh, see, they're saying number two. I like number one too. I think it's a difficult one. Um, can we see number one with your one that you just done with the green as well? So get your yes. votes in number one and two. Um, just see if those, look at that for comparison in doing in those one colours. Uh, yeah. That's incredible. So all you're going to do is do the same deal with that one. And you've got some really lovely cards, mm. selection of different cards by just changing the ink colours up. Yeah. And, 
find a formula batch mm -hmm. make them thank you very much jobs are good isn't it absolutely yeah absolutely beautiful so that's your number one that purple one or number two with the robins uh, and is saying i really love the monochrome look as well especially when sheena did it to the blue the other week um and uh candy is saying we'll cut in the double-sided adhesive sheets on the foam pad um sheet gun gunk up your dies um, scissors or guillotine actually I mean that's a good question I've used them a lot of times my um, stick the foam bags uh, and it's never gunked up mine yet uh, if it does we do do a spray we do we do a spray um, that is a stick away and that will get rid of all your sticky stuff so that's quite good uh, unfortunately I don't think we ship that out to the US so apologies for that uh, right so get your votes in so number one or number two um, and make sure you go for that uh, amazing uh, launch that we've got on today which is our snowflake stories um what's next sorry um oh pick and flick on some of your samples this is great because we love to see what sheena's design team does oh, they're just amazing they're just aren't amazing. they i love this this is stunning now this has got that embossing on this the um on the image so it might be a, hard, a big ask but that's on there you know when i said it and i did it the deboss this is actually the right way the emboss on the front but that's so pretty isn't it Gorgeous so lovely card. and then this one bear with i love this look there's oh, that little, that's nice look how cool is that yeah that little is image there. so again a formula that's another formula the recipe but you can do that with all of them because you've got the large image and the small image so that's that's another formula What's around the edge of that one because that almost looks like 3d it Which looks one? like a real tunnel that you're looking through the edge of that one this has it been heat embossed around the edges or no is it it's just... a mirror card oh it's just mirror card mirror, around the yeah, edges that yeah. looks just amazing yeah, and there's just a little bit of ink blended for the little picture at the bottom yeah that's that beautiful it. it's gorgeous isn't it and then we've got the rooftops love that love the rooftops the little kids again with the window we did this one earlier oh that's gorgeous pretty isn't it yeah really pretty oh, look at this and so many different designs. Look at that robin on that front step. That's oh, so cool. That is, isn't that special? It's so special. Stunning, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, stunning. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And then we've got... <gasps> Love that one. Yeah. Now that's really nice. That actually makes it look very traditional now. Doesn't it? The yeah. different colour, yeah. And then look, big card. Ah, uh, so we were talking about a five by seven. So yeah. this type of one, so you can make them any size. That yeah. is just So that looks a well card, doesn't it? Yeah, it's beautiful, absolutely stunning. And more rooftops. Another gorgeous more one. More robins. Oh, that's nice. That's really pretty, isn't it? Yeah, that's really pretty. Yeah, and this one. Oh, wait, you see this next one with it. I love yeah, that. Yeah, that's, the that's one. gorgeous. Love the that. way they go Northern around the edges. Lights. <gasps> Look at that. That is magical, isn't it? With the star at the end amazing. of the swirl. That is amazing. Uh, that's beautiful. Like the light in the window uh -huh. and then the yeah, light saying. coming down in the yeah, background. Yeah, that's Julie. So that's join the enquets and ask Julie to talk you through that one. Yeah, that's very She'll, clever. Uh, and then we've got the snowflakes in the background. Oh, that's a good extended. idea. I love that. It looks like a cracker, like you pulled yeah, a Christmas does. cracker. Yeah, yeah, I love yeah. that. And then this one's actually inset into there. Oh, so instead of using nice. it to outside, we've got it yes, um, recessed. Beautiful. And then this one, very arty. Look at that. Oh, that's gorgeous. That's a little bit sort of wizardry. Is it? Yes, Ooh, I think it does look a magic, bit like that. Isn't it? It's beautiful. Yeah, so, and there's more. I think I think you've got a whole pile over on your side as well, don't Yeah, you? I've got lots on my them. side. First of all, we do have a winner. It is Yay. number two. Number two. Number two, the Robin did number it. Two yes, is the, the Robin Robins. is absolutely stunning, Excellent. which is a gorgeous one. And I'll just show you some of the makes I've got on my side. Oh, yep, that's the Robin one that won. Yep. Uh, and these are just some extra ones that uh, Sheena's design team have done for her. Um, um, so many different ways, so many different concepts. Um, I think the choice is yours, how you want to do yours, how you want to decorate them, uh, contemporary or traditional, I think the choice is yours. So many different techniques in how you can make these designs. I love them um, and I'm sure you do. Lots of people saying they've already got these, uh, Sheena, because they've got yeah. them through HSN. Yeah. Um, I think Hobby Maker that you were on at the weekend, which yeah. is amazing.
amazing. Um, so really, thank you for giving us such a busy day with them as well because they are absolutely gorgeous. Um, right, so Kathy's saying that card looks like a stamped copper foil. Yes, um, and Brenda is saying, yeah. wow, wow, wow. Cindy saying, gorgeous samples. Um, yeah, lots of you are just absolutely loving those. Uh, Sheena, thank you for Thanks, a lovely Debbie. couple of hours. I always so inspirational. It, flew. it flies, doesn't it? Wow. Absolutely. I don't know where that two hours has gone. Mm. Have a rest, only for an hour, because yep. Sheena's going to come back and do it all over again. Uh, I'm not, though. Our Ben is going to come into the studio, so he's going to be with Sheena. Uh, so it will be Sheena and Ben tonight for beautiful beginnings. So do join them back at six o'clock. In fact, only in an hour's time. Um, but if you want that showstopper, remember to go for that. Click on the website and grab that one when you can. Uh, but for now, I'm going to say goodbye and I will see you um, on Friday on QVC Extra, actually. And then I'll be back in a couple of weeks. See you soon. Bye.